Hello, my name is Jeff Wyma, and I'll be leading you on these online videos on behalf of Christian Leaders Institute. Now, before we get started, I thought it would be uh, important and hopefully helpful for me to introduce myself. Not that that's so important, but most people are curious by nature and probably wonder who's leading them in these series of instructions. And so, please permit me to uh, give you this uh, brief introduction of who is this guy named Jeff Wyma. Well, in terms of roots, I first have up there some wooden shoes because uh, both of my parents are immigrants from the Netherlands after the Second World War. And on one hand, that might not seem so important for my life because, after all, I was born in Canada and I hardly speak any Dutch. But I've come to realize over time that my immigrant upbringing was more formative in shaping whom I was than I first realized. In fact, when I meet other immigrants, whether they're from a Dutch background or Korean or whatever country, we often have a lot in common as uh, we uh, share our experiences. You also see up there a Canadian flag because I was indeed born in Canada. But uh, a number of years ago, my wife and I moved to the United States and after a period of time become now American citizens. And we've lived now in the United States for the past uh, 20 years. Speaking of my wife, there she is. We've been married now 28 years. As we're recording this, the year is 2011. And uh, we've been together then for a good while. And we hope the Lord willing to continue to be together for a good longer while yet. We have uh, four children here uh, going from the oldest to the youngest from right to left. Uh, the oldest is married and she is a Spanish teacher in a Christian school. And she and her husband live in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where I live. Our second daughter is also married. This picture comes from her wedding from a couple of years ago. She is a special needs teacher, and she works in Niles, Michigan. And she has lots of uh, challenging stories and experiences uh, that come from teaching kindergartner and first grade special need children. And uh, her husband is a PhD student at uh, Notre Dame in South Bend in chemical engineering. Our third daughter uh, has always been a little bit independent and marking her own course. And so she went to school uh, quite a ways away from our hometown of Michigan. She's studying at Seattle Pacific University. She's studying a combination of business and fashion. And then our baby, if I could put it that way, if you can call someone who's 6'5", uh, a little over 200 pounds a baby, is uh, Sam. And uh, he is a sophomore at Michigan State University studying uh, business. I do a lot of other things besides uh, teach, although surprisingly I have very few pictures of me actually teaching, and so I don't have one to show you of that. Um, I also do a lot of preaching. In fact, I preach about uh, 70 times a year, but hardly have any few pictures of that either, other than this rare picture of me in an old-fashioned pulpit in, of all places, South Africa. But I think it's important for you to know that uh, I spend a lot of time thinking about how do you communicate uh, the gospel to a contemporary world? How do you move from the study and the academic world to the world of the pew? And I hope that that practicality, uh, that issue of relevancy will come out in our uh, study sessions together. Um, here is uh, a picture of me leading a two-day seminar for pastors. I travel around the United States and Canada often leading these two-day intensive seminars on a particular theme or subject and then encourage these pastors to steal as much as they want and they can kind of hit the ground running with a sermon series that will hopefully benefit uh, them and their church. Uh, I also uh, lead biblical study tours. Here's an image of me in front of uh, uh, an, uh, a temple in Corinth. I lead uh, study tours both to Turkey and to Greece and less so to Israel. And that's another uh, important way in which our understanding of the biblical text comes alive when we visit these places and we see uh, the link between archaeology, history, geography, and the biblical uh, text. Of course, I have to be involved in publishing. Uh, you can see from the title of the books that uh, my area of specialty is uh, Paul and especially his letters, and even more narrowly, the Thessalonian letters. I, I'm also, in addition to these books, uh, just about finished a rather massive commentary on First and Second Thessalonians. 
But there's more to life than academics, and so I've got a few other things to round out the picture of my life. You can see here uh, me, a picture with my daughter and son-in-law participating in a triathlon. Uh, I selectively picked out a picture or two in which uh, it was a little more flattering to me. You didn't see me uh, passed out from exhaustion. Here's another picture of me with my second daughter. I do a lot of running and uh, 5Ks. But my real passion is actually water skiing. So here's an image of me uh, slaloming. And uh, another interesting thing I do is barefoot water ski. This is actually one foot barefooting. Uh, I sometimes have a little picture and a caption underneath this picture outside my office door that says something like this. Um, uh, why not barefoot? After all, Jesus walked on water too. Well, uh, friends, uh, this is a little introduction into me and my life. And uh, I hope it's been helpful to kind of round out some of the more academic things that we'll be talking about. Uh, I am glad to speak to you uh, in this way and to work with you in understanding and becoming better readers of the uh, biblical text. And I pray that um, uh, our time together will be a profitable one for you, not only for now, but also for your future ministry. Thank you.